OK, so um, I had a request to go through a couple of simultaneous equation problems. Uh, there's the uh, shadow of the webcam. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. So, uh, 4a of 2b equals 44 was the first one. I'm going to call that one. Number of uh, solutions that you like. So all you've got to do is think of a random value for A and think of the value of B that will make it balance. But the infinite number of solutions you can think of A make 4A plus 2B equals 44. And then the second equation is I call Again, principle of 3B equals 150. All I've got to do is think of a random thing for a five, and then that would make twenty eight hundred. So three b would have to be three to make it balance, uh, and b would be what's that sixteen and two thirds. The number of pairs of a and b that will make the second equation work well, but what we're looking for with simultaneous equations a pair of values that works in both equations together at the same time. Uh, in other words, for at the same time is simultaneous. So simultaneous is why it's called, uh, why it's called simultaneous equations. Okay, so I'm going to take equation one, and I'm going to multiply it by five. So instead of Four multiplied by five, and you get twenty. Instead of multiplied by five, instead of forty-four, multiply everything by five, and you get zero twenty. Um, and then I'm going to leave equation two as it is. So twenty a plus three. Equation four is just the same equation it was before. Um, and equation three is equation one, but written in another in another way. I've just multiplied by five on the left, multiplied by five on the right, so everything should still balance and make a value. And the reason I did that was to make the A in both. So I spot that um, four goes into twenty by multiplying it by five. So I have to multiply everything in the first equation by 5, and then you know, 20 and the next one. So the whole point of that was to achieve the same amount of A in both equations. I didn't have to do with A, so I could have done it with B, but I would have done it with the A. Now the rest of the equations, because you can make whole equations one another. So we take everything in equation three and subtract everything in equation four. So 120 minus 150 minus 3b is 70b. What happens with the a's? 20a minus 20a is 20a. What, what we've managed to do there is eliminate a simple equation, uh, one equation in one unknown thing, 7b equals 70. So what I've got to do is divide both sides of that by 7. And that gives me a equals 10. So b equals 10 is, in fact, one of my answers. Or a nice neat line down there. And what I'm going to do now that I've taken out the B and 10, I'm going to take those 
value equation one. So equation one for a plus two equals forty-four. So that becomes four a plus twenty equals forty-four. And that's easy to solve. Four a plus twenty equals forty-four. Any twenty from both sides. 4 a equals 24, and divide both sides by 4 to get a equals 10. So a equals 6 looks like it's our other answer. Let's stick on that, I'll put another one here. There we go. So a equals our other answer. So we think we've solved it, and if this was an exam question, we'd get the marks for a equals 6 and b equals 10. It's always a good idea with these. It's not equation 1 that I used before, because if I made a mistake, I might make the same mistake. Plus equals um, so we have 20 a was 150. So I figured out that a was 20, 20 times 6 120 plus 3. I figured out that b was 10, so 3b is 3 times 6. So 120 plus 30. Is 150, so we know that we've got that right. Okay, so on to the second question. This a little bit quicker. Pause if you need to. Okay, so 14s plus 18, 5s plus 14 equals 35. I've got two choices. Try and multiply. Or multiply them up to make the S. It's actually easier to make the T's than that. So we put the double the second one, and then you've got the But um, I'm going to make my life a, a little bit harder and do it the longer way and make the S's. So we're going to put all the S's together and set the L's together. So we're going to call those one and two, so they're together as a pair. So we're going to do equation one times five. Equation 2 times uh, 4, and that's the thing that I have in both equations is a mistake amount of s, 70 s in fact. So because 14 and 5 both go into 70, I'm just going to multiply both equations up so that they've both got 70 s. Okay, so equation 1 times 5, 14 s times 5. S plus 80 times 5 40 equals 66 times 5 is 330. Second equation. Uh, I'm going to multiply everything by 40. So 5s times 40 is 70s plus 40 times 40. That's 4. Uh, 56 equals 35 times 14. I'm desperately trying to do that in my head. That's 140, 490. 490. So I've multiplied both equations up and I exactly the same left and right. Everything still balances. So I've got two equally valid equations as the ones I've before. All those three and four, but the good thing about them is now they both have the same amount of s in them. So I can do the thing of subtracting one whole equation from another whole equation, and that's s. So let's go for blue this time. 
Um, well, I could say that the numbers in the top equation are all bigger than the numbers in the top equation. So what I'm going to do is equation 4 minus equation 3, the bottom one minus the top one. So that is 490 uh, minus 370 is 160. Uh, Minus 42 is 60, and 70 is always 60, so that's 100. Um, one equation in one is unknown, 60c equals 100. So write both times by, uh, both times by 60 equals 10, so it's equals 10 is one of our solutions. With a one. Now that I figured it out, so equation one says fourteen s plus eight equals sixty six. I have to be ten, so that becomes fourteen s plus not eight, but eight, eight times ten is equals sixty. I'd like to get the s bit on its own. So Away the bit, the 80 bit, but then I've got to take away 80 on the other side, and then it becomes uh, 40 minus, minus 14. So divide everything by 14, minus 1. So our other answer is that s is minus 1. If I've got that right, I'm going to equation 2, make sure those values work in it. So equation 2 was. 5 plus 4t equals 35. F was minus 1, so 5s is minus 5. Plus 4t, 4 times t, 4 times 10 is 40. So minus 5 plus 40 is supposed to equal 35. And it does equal 35. So we know that it works, and we've got it right. Notice, by the way, throughout this, a neat vertical line. Everything lined up so you can see uh, what's followed on from what and what's disappeared in the algebra. Makes it a whole lot easier to follow in the first place. And also, if you make any silly math errors along the way, makes it a whole lot easier to put those right.